How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. And as you can see today, it is the Manchester United man, Anthony Martial. We're going to review him today and just see what he's like in FIFA 19. Ultimate team is in form. He's went from like an 83 to an 85, so it's quite the jump up. But his Champions League card is smack bang in the middle. Will it be better than that one? Today, we're going to find out. So, guys, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Smash your like on the review. Let's bring the hype for Anthony Martial and this Marshall, Martial, Martial, Marshall. Or kind of review if you do enjoy smash a like and by the way guys just set up a brand new discord if you do want to join that and you want the link to it the link will be right there in the comment section below make sure you check it out and guys if you're not already subscribed to the channel drop a subscription and click the little bell as well so he's in this formation now why is he in the 4 3 well 2 1 yeah um for two reasons i got him to play left forward i wanted to test him at left forward just to test if his movement was any better than i previously used him in and I want to test him as striker in game alongside Mbappe. So guys, with that being said, let's get into the review. So here we go then lads, and similar to every single inform that came out today, the price should drop tomorrow when rewards do come out, but as of right now, He's still kind of expensive. I've played 380k for the card sold him for 320 and as of right now, he's going for between 300 and 320 on the Xbox and the exact same on the PlayStation. You don't see a record there because I didn't want to play him with the record. I wanted to keep that surprise, but um, should I spoil it for you right now? I don't think I will. I'll, I'll, I'll let you show that by the goals and the gameplay and stuff like that. He's got four star skills, three star weak words, which uh, does hinder the card in a massive, massive way. And I'll let you know about that once we do hit the gameplay as well. Medium to medium worker, it's six foot tall. And speaking of six foot tall, this guy is quite the unit, you know. He's quite strong in game. He's got a stocky body type. He's hard to push off the ball. And uh, yeah, I know his aggression is 59, but he's straight with 77. And it's quite the kind of task to push him off the ball in this game. The other stats that he's got look bloody brilliant. I mean, his pace is 90. He's got 80 in acceleration, 90 sprints being sensational stats right there and are needed on this game. He's got 85 attack and positioning, 85 finishing, 87 shot power, 77 long shots, 76 volleys. The volleys, it kind of does like... Um, it baffles me because on this game, volleys are very overpowered, uh, and you associate that with every, stri every, every like striker on this game, every uh, every bloody winger, every midfielder. They can all hit a volley on this game. Anthony Martial side foots him. I don't get what his problem is, man. He side foots volleys, and I don't get that in the slightest. In terms of dribbling category, you would have seen that was stacked as well. Coming in at 87 with 85 agility, 81 balance, 81 reactions, 87 ball control, and 88 dribbling, 79 composure as well. Does the composure affect the card? Sometimes. Now, in these kind of situations, it's right on half time. I do get the ball with Martial. I try a couple of step overs, and then it's a tank finesse in the back of the net. If you can pull that off with Anthony Martial, it will go in the back most of well, the back of the net most of the time because it's got 88 curve, shot power 87, and his long shots are 77. So it is quite well balanced in that category. If you do get the tank finesse shot right, he will get it right and it'll seal in the back of the net. So speaking of his pros, lads, we'll fire through them. He's got the shot power, the shot power of a god. Give him a chance, he's gonna blast it past the keeper every single time, whether it be a finesse or a shot like power one. He's gonna blast it past the keeper. He's got a lot of power on his shots, and that will be evidence in the gameplay. He's got the finishing of a striker. He's literally got the finishing of a striker. I know what you're gonna see the composure. Does it play a part? I don't think it does. I really don't think it does. He had some uh, important moments for me where he was in behind defences, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and stuff like that. He didn't mess up. He didn't mess up. Look at this, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He doesn't mess up and he puts it in the back of the net to make it 2-0 in that game in Division Rivals. Division 3, by the way, I just went over 2,000 points. In terms of the best stats, you got the dribbling, the acceleration, the worst, the stamina and boys. And the key stat of the day is the shot power on the card because it can blast them like some of the best strikers on this game. And again, this was clutch. This was 80 I mean, I actually went on to lose this game from kickoff, but as you can see, it's great control. That's a great finish because his dribbling as well is very, very underrated with this card. The dribbling anti Martial has always been associated with power and pace. It's still there. It is still there. And the dribbling is like, it's even better because with the 85 agility, the 81 balance, it can kind of turn very quickly on this game. And with the 87 ball control and the 88 dribbling, he's very like light footed and he's very fleet footed on this game. And he can definitely like trap a ball instantly, then dribble from there. You're seeing some great skills there. But um, yeah, he missed the chance and um, uh, Mbappe does put it in the back of the net. But the rest of his pros then, we got the strength, which is there, 77 strength 
strength. The aggression is not there, but the strength is definitely there, and he can definitely hold off a player on this game. As you see him chip it over, someone then lose the bloody ball. In terms of the four star skills, you can pull them off the stop and turn and stuff like that. Very overpowered on this game with certain players, especially if they've got strength. Andy Martial is one of those. He goes one on one with the keeper, holds his composure, and puts it in the back of the net. And of course, the pace, which um, I've already kind of touched on, but the acceleration, uh, it's very good. It's 88, and the sprint speed is 90. He's very quick on this game. Put him on the last shoulder of the defender. He's, he's in behind the last defender every single bloody time. He is that quick on the game. Going to his cons then, we've got movement. Brackets LS. What the hell does LS mean? Left striker. His movement at left striker was shite. It was so bad. It was ridiculously bad. It's got medium to medium work rates. Maybe that was at fault because at medium to medium work rates, you don't go too far forward. You don't go too far back. You kind of stay static and he just didn't move, man. And when he did move, he'd move in field. He just, he just had drifted in the striker spot. He drifted in the right striker spot. Stay put at left striker. You play left striker, play that bloody position, but it's striker. He was, uh, he was great at striker. He did his job. He scored goals and that's what I wanted him at striker so if there's going to be a preferred position for this guard it has to be striker he's a great striker on this game left striker not so much left wing again not so much I'd go for like Eden Hazard or someone like that in the Premier League or in the French kind of terms um who else you got on French wingers uh left wing French wing uh, would it have to be Martial I think it would have to be Martial every single bloody time in the other corner is the freestyle we put on the card. I mean, sometimes you can get the chance on the left peg and you don't want to take it because of the freestyle weak foot. And then sometimes you get the chance on the left peg, you take it, <laughs> it's shite. It is so damn bad. So getting the overall rating on this card then, lads, we'll just jump straight away. He's getting the overall rating of an 8.7. Do I reckon he's better than his normal card? Yes. Do I reckon he's better than his Champions League card? There is minimal, minimal, minimal difference between the two cards. If you can notice it, you've got pinpoint precision in your eyes, your fingers, and um, your toes. I don't know why I did the last bit, but it's very minimal, the stat difference between the two cards, so it's going to be very hard to spot a difference between the Champions League card and this card, but from the normal card to this card, there is definitely a difference. So I've given it 8.7 in the overall rate, and the value of coins is getting a 6.0 because 320k, as of right now, is simply not worth it, lads. Um, I don't know, with like he's like 150, then he'd be worth it. He'd be probably worth it at 150, but right now, at 320, don't touch this card. Enjoyment rating is getting an 8.6 because he was enjoyable, but at the same time, I know I give his other card like a 9 point something. At the time, that was enjoyable. Right now, with the current kind of stature of players that we've got, it's not as enjoyable if you do get me. Foot champs ready, this is getting a 9 out of 10 in that. Definitely foot champs ready. Similar players, we've got Lamar, Nabry, and Marcus Rashford. I went for the cheaper option today if you do want to do that and if you want to go like expensive uh, Thierry Henry is your man key pro dribbling key con freestyle weak foot and the best camp style for me would be finisher on the card maybe that's why he was so strong finisher boosts the strength I do believe maybe that's why he's so damn strong in the game so Martial comes in at number six in the top ten in forms as you can see down below Neymar number one and Bappe Royce Lacazette Hulk Martial the main man at number six Lozano, who scored tonight against uh, Spurs in a 2-2 draw, a thrilling match that one. Ben Yedda comes in at number 8, Felipe Anderson number 9, and Joshua King comes in at number 10. Where's Lewandowski going to come, lads? And lads, if you do want to see a Lewandowski review, uh, smash the hell out of this uh, this thumb? This thumb? What the hell am I saying? Smash it out of this, uh, this review, lads. If you have enjoyed this video, it's, it's massively appreciated. So smash a like button, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Remember Remember to check out the Discord, I'll leave it in the comments, and as always guys, I will catch you all next time.